my channel. So today's video is going to be a review with swatches and demos video of two palettes. The Saharan palette by Juvia's Place, this side, and the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing these reviews. There's going to be three separate videos, two palettes per video, one on each eye. Um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. Um, it's going to be like a three-part series, one every week for the next three weeks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel before you click away, and let's just go ahead and get started. Nubian palette. This is what it looks like. It's got this cool like Egyptian thing on the front and then you open it up it's got the same Egyptian on the inside. This is a really neutral palette so if you like neutral shades this palette is bomb. These shades in this palette you could probably see in the review they are crazy or in the demo they're crazy pigmented crazy blendable, probably one of the most blendable shadows I've ever used. And I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes, and I've tried a lot of eyeshadow palettes. So I want to get into a little bit more of the nitty gritty. So the shades in here, you can tell which ones are crazy metallic and which ones are more satin. So I'm going to go in and tell you what shades are metallic, what shades are satin. This shade is definitely a metallic duochrome. It has a little bit, you probably can't see it on camera, but it has a pink reflect to it. It's a really nice cream shimmer with a nice pinky reflect. These two are matte, beautiful, very blendable, creamy. This one is crazy. It is foiled. Very, very, very pigmented. Live swatch. Oh, yeah. Very, very pigmented. This one is also metallic. It is not as strong of a metallic as the other shade, but it is still beautiful. This shade is more of a satin with a gold reflect to it. This shade is for sure a satin, or th sorry, this shade is for sure a satin. It's not crazy shimmery, it's not glittery, it's just a really nice sheen to it. This shade is another one of those foiled shades I was telling you about. This one is a little bit crumblier than the other guys, um, but it is incredibly pigmented, incredibly foiled. This one right here is a satin, this one right here is a matte, this right here is also a satin. These two just have a really slight sheen to them. They're not crazy. And then this last one here is a matte. Um, the only shade I had trouble with was this guy because it's super creamy, super pigmented, and that, um, it's a little bit, well, I'm gonna try, it's a little bit dry. So that is not necessarily a negative thing. Um, but the rest of the shallot, the, the rest of the shallots, the, less, the rest of the shades in the palette are incredibly creamy and this one was just a little bit dry that didn't affect the pigment of the blendability of the shadows but it was just a little bit more dry and then this shade is a little bit um I don't know if you can see it but it's a little bit crumbly so it like it kind of flakes off a little bit it's kind of flaky if that makes sense but other than that, I really like this palette. These, This one has been like my reach to, like go to immediately for anything neutral, anything really basic. And then again, very um, intricate looks like this one right here, which is not very difficult. It's just a lot with the liner and everything. Um, so I did like this ombre from dark brown to light brown. And then I did this rose gold color here. Or, um, sorry, this one right here. All over my lid and then a really intense cat eye wing which I am living for. So yeah, I mean, this one has been a reach, like, immediate reach for me. I really like this palette. Um, the formula is pretty consistent throughout all the mattes, except for this guy who's just a little bit drier. But other than that, I really like this, and I recommend it to somebody who loves neutrals. All right, let's break down the Saharan palette. So the Saharan palette is a little bit more on the edgy side. So there is some really great neutral colors in here. These guys here, this nice black is pretty decent. Um, this warm orange is really great. I know it looks like fire red on camera, but it's really not that orange like on the eye. So I want to talk about a couple of shades in here before anything is these, this one, this one, and this one are not crazy intense. 
but they're not satin shades either. They are metallic, but they're a softer metallic, so they're not, like, as, like, you can see, it's not, like, shiny. Um, the mattes have been really consistent throughout this palette. The only one, again, that I'm having trouble with is a very deep shade, which is beautiful. It's a black, just a really nice black formula. It's just not as creamy as the other mattes in the palette, and that might be a consistency thing throughout all of Juvia's Place, really deep, deep, dark eyeshadows. But, again, I didn't have trouble blending it. I didn't have trouble doing anything with it. It was just a little bit drier than the others. Um, I don't think there's any, like, true satins in this palette, except maybe this guy here. Lul. It's not really, it's more of a shimmer than it is a metallic. Like, this shade here, this shade here, and this shade here are metallic. Like, bright in your face metallic shades. Um, so, so is this one. This one is really, really pretty as well. Very foiled duochrome turquoise to dark blue. Um, yeah, I mean, this one is a little bit crazy crumbly, just like that brown shade I was talking about before. Again, incredibly, incredibly pigmented, very blendable, easy to work with, but just a little bit crumblier, really, really soft, and a really nice white silver blue duochrome. I love it, love it, love it. I want to talk a little bit about this shade right here. This shade is really, really unique, just because it's so creamy, but also so pigmented, and it's really um, one of those shades that like is like so unique to just this palette. Um, again, same with the gold. It's just such a green, pretty, pretty gold, like ultra foiled metallic shade. Um, I wish I would have played with this a little bit more when I was doing this eye look here, but I really wanted to dabble into this, like, pinks and the orange in these in this palette, and I did put this one on the inner corner. You probably saw that already, but, um, actually, no, you didn't, because the demos are last now. But, yeah, I did a really smoky kind of lash line on this eye. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it kind of blended away, but that was my own fault. I blended a little bit too much. But I really, really love this palette as well. If you're a neutral person and you're looking to kind of steer out, maybe play a little bit with more pops of color, this would be a great, great palette for you because you have these really warm oranges that are unlike any other, and then you have this really bright gold that you can kind of dress down or dress up. If you want to play with more like pinks, a little bit deeper colors, this is a palette for you. It's got a pop of blue in here, which is beautiful as well. Yeah, I really like this palette. I think the Juvia's Place Saharan palette is definitely worth the money. Um, it's not a very expensive palette, but it's worth it regardless. <laughs> um, I've used palettes that are way less expensive than this and also terrible quality, So, but also the same price and way worse quality. So, yeah. Um... It's a great palette if you really like neutrals and you're looking to kind of expand your collection. These two, definitely recommend them. Um, great, great formula on their eyeshadows. Really easy to work with, easy to blend, creamy, pigmented eyeshadows. And that is about all I have to say. swatches of the Juvia's Place Saharan palette and the Juvia's Place Nubian palette. Um, I hope you like the eye looks I created today. I tried to get a little bit more creative, a little bit more in-depth with them. Um, I'm really enjoying this one. I think I'm enjoying this one more if I were going out like on the town or something and this one more if I was going to like a classy event. <laughs> But I really do like the eye looks that I created today, and I hope you guys do too. So if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel before you click away, share this video so everybody knows who I am, and I will see you all in my next video. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you later. Bye!